So here to show the rise and fall time measurement limitations of the Tektronix TDS-784D, I'm using my Colby pulse generator to put out a 125 megahertz square wave directly into the scope. The rise and fall time of the generator is on the order of 200 to 250 picoseconds. So now we're zoomed in on the scope making a measurement of the Colby pulse generator. We can see that the average rise time is running 360 to 370 picoseconds. And the average fall time is running between 380 and 390 picoseconds. Both of those are much slower than what's actually coming out of the Colby, which is on the order of 200 to 250 picoseconds. So it's the fundamental limitation of the oscilloscope. And th this is about as fast as it measures. It's specced at 400 picoseconds. We're getting a little bit better than that. But keep that in mind when we look at the rise and fall times of the Siglet pulse uh, function generator. Any rise or fall time we measure that's anything less than about a nanosecond is probably shorter than we're measuring. So just keep that in mind.